What up, Ninja Nation? It's Bowman9000, aka the Trumble Ninja. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm here to tell you guys about how to be grinding your athletic finishers uh, so that you get the most bang for your buck every My Career game that you play. Uh, first off, before we get into that, uh, I just want to let you guys know that I do have a new article up on allyoucanheat.com. Uh, obviously, talking about Anthony Davis and that whole crazy thing, but I'm trying to make a trade package to get him down to Miami uh, it's crazy it's got a lot of stuff I got a lot of extra goals I'm trying to accomplish with that uh, like you know getting the salary cap down and all but you can read that I'll put those down in the description below um, so without further ado let's get into it so you guys may be wondering how to grind your athletic finishers when a you don't have the ball and b sometimes it can be really boring and a lot of the shots that we tend to take as athletic finishers sometimes uh, may have you confused as to which build you actually are or there are weird things um, you know that you go for that are like score differently the score off percentages as opposed to the amount of times uh, that you do them so I'm here to tell you guys how to get 80k each time you go into a my career game let's get into it so the first thing you need to be doing is looking at your opponent um, each time each time you go into uh, before you go to a my career game you need to look at who your opponent is uh, doesn't matter if you think you know what the roster is or if you um, you're in a few seasons in and you know for sure you don't know who's on that roster check first it costs a lot of time to go ahead and grind these games so you should know who you're going up against um, so you're trying to avoid people who you have to chase around and around and around all the time who are way faster than you uh, and you're trying to avoid people who um, are lockdown defenders of any kind um, so in an example that I have here, I'm going against the Kings. Um, I'm looking at their roster. Doesn't look they have a, a secure power forward. Uh, they do have, you know, big bruising center down low. Um, so I'm not really trying to go against that. Um, so I put myself uh, at the power forward. Um, you know, depending on which team you go against, the small forward might be a lockdown defender. Um, or they might not uh, so just you know switch yourself obviously get yourself to the Lakers if you can I tried to do this a bunch of times uh, without going to the Lakers and it just you just got to do it man that you need this uh, for this specific way to grind um, so once you're done ducking the one-on-one -on -one matchup get somebody who you know you can actually square up against who you have an advantage of and definitely somebody who you can get past um, you need to be putting each quarter on 12 minutes I know it's a long time but if you're doing this uh, not on 12 minutes you won't be getting 80k um, it's gonna take the whole while because most the biggest secret to this build uh, to this grinding method you have to be able to play the whole game um, so let's get into it what you need to be doing is alley oops I'm gonna say it again alley oops you need to be able to run behind your defender uh, and call for the lob. Obviously having LeBron James and Lonzo Ball both on your roster um, is an added bonus. Make sure you're giving yourself as much minutes as possible. Um, for me in my second year, that's 38 minutes. Some people got the uh, ability to change those minutes sooner on before your first year is over. Uh, so if you can do that, that's amazing. Uh, you need to be playing yourself as many minutes as possible um, and also playing the center um, some minutes as well and your backup center some minutes as well too so you don't get stuck uh, up against a seven foot three behemoth all right so you need to be catching alley-oops I like to come from the right side uh, as you guys can see I'm just going over and over and over every time down the court uh, I'm trying to get a little bit of space and call for the lob uh, if I catch it and throw it down awesome sometimes it counts as a posterizer as well as an alley-oop um, sometimes it just counts as an alley-oop even uh, if they don't dunk and he goes for a layup, that's fine too. Continue that animation and try to score off that. Um, that'll be great. So I believe you do cap out at 25 times. Uh, these are not, pal oops are not counted as uh, percentage. They just count it as the amount of times that you actually execute one and pull it off. So you need to be going for that 25 times. Um, if you want to get super tedious about it, you can take down each time on a piece of paper 
every time you see that alley -oop badge come up or something like that um, it's gonna be tough to get to 25 and you're gonna have to play the whole game because you're playing on Hall of Fame difficulty uh, if I didn't say that before definitely play on Hall of Fame difficulty um, so yeah posterizers 25 times alley -oops 25 times just going for that alone uh, it's gonna be super tough to finish out uh, <laughs> the rest of the time and do anything else don't grind for anything else basically just do these two things uh, the next thing I'll tell you guys is go for strong finishes um, those do not cap out at 25 uh, in this specific game I got 32 it gave me 4400 points uh, to go for that so that's cool um, a lot of these times you know if you don't go for the uh, if the poster animation doesn't come up and you take a lightly contested or a heavily contested or smothered layup and make it is gonna give you a strong finish so go for those um, things that you must 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 do besides going for the alley-oops every single time down the floor um, is get your A plus teammate grade um, if you're doing weird things like fouling or you know dumb stuff not paying attention to your opponent on defense you're not gonna be able to get the A plus grade because you're playing on Hall of Fame it's hard to get um, so try your best to get the A plus uh, a lot of times I got an A teammate grade but you should be getting no less than an A if you're getting less than an A you're doing something wrong um, try very hard to get the A plus you're gonna have to give up a couple scoring attempts like throwing us a, a couple assists uh, putbacks things like that um, to get that A plus the win bonus that's self-explanatory you have to win the game that's also 6200 so your A plus uh, teammate grade and your win bonus are both 6200 points uh, that's 12,400 points just for playing that's it just for playing you get that much points um, of course you need to be going for a tireless shots. so the way the tireless shots work right so I do not suggest getting Gatorade before you go into these games you need to take tireless shots okay one time I did it um, I went 22 for 29 because they do count percentage on this for 76 percent they gave me an extra 10k now this came all in the fourth quarter so when it comes fourth quarter anytime you start to see that um, that little Gatorade symbol next to you try harder to get these alley-oops when you get tired keep going for alley-oops don't do anything different just keep stay the course ask for the alley-oops um, and that's good go from there um, this in this specific gameplay I went 15 for 17 that's 88 uh, percent only got 7100 points but still that's pretty much free at the end of the game uh, because you're tired anyway and you need to keep grinding um, like I said you're gonna be ducking opponents on the one-on-one -on -one matchup but never ever ever uh, duck an opponent team okay play every single team uh, your opponent strength goes up and down uh, up against this team I got 3k I believe um, we'll check that at the end of the video but you guys I'll let that roll so you guys see exactly what I got um, so yes you need to be playing defense every single possession there are a lot of grinding methods where you like wait at half court or you wait at three quarters court and just like go back down the court by yourself um, play as much defense as you can um, there will be times that you are waiting to you know get the point guard in position so you can go for the lob and the defense will start to like play you like super heavy they'll try to deny you the ball uh, before anything happens when this happens try to go uh, try to work your way and go behind using using the turbo button um, try to go behind your opponent or actually take the lane that he's giving you he's trying to force you inside or outside take that path and then still call for the lob if you get a little bit of space go for the lob uh, you're probably gonna get a lot more space though uh, if they're trying to deny you the ball and you're going against somebody who's much slower than you so make sure um, when they deny you the ball keep going for it um, things that you need to go for okay uh, things you need to actually excuse me things that you need to stay away from uh, stay away from fouling you're playing 12 minute quarters on Hall of Fame difficulty and you're grinding in such a way that it kind of freezes the rest of your teammates out so like your other teammates are gonna have a few points maybe 10 maybe 12 but like you're gonna be scoring a lot of points like in the hundreds um, so don't foul out you will lose the game um, and you won't get that extra 6200 so don't foul out don't go for cheap fouls or blocks um, don't go for steals if you get a steal that's great if you scoop and score that's great uh, but don't be coming up to the ball handler trying to knock the ball loose uh, unless it gets late in the game and you have fouls to give like if you don't if you're not close to fouling out sure go for it and get out on the break um, but early on in the game don't fall for the okie doke don't go for the blocks and steals just let it come to you and while playing regular defense uh, don't go for drop steps and up and unders because they count off percentages and you're probably not going to make as many as you'd hope to make 
this you're taking possessions away from yourself that you could be going for alley-oop and honestly they don't even count for that much really unless you're going for a badge then go for that badge don't try to combine this method with going for this specific drop stepper badge or up and under don't worry about it um, also don't set screens you're gonna get turnovers uh, you're gonna set illegal screens from time to time or even worse you set the screen and the point guard pulls up for a jumper and hits it then what you just wasted an offensive possession for yourself you're not gonna touch the ball don't even worry about it LeBron's gonna pull it pretty much every time um, posting up don't really post up unless you're posting up for less than like two seconds um, don't worry about it because as soon as you post up on Hall of Fame, if you get a few points, they're going to start double teaming you and you're going to have to pass it anyway. And you're passing most likely to an open person because you're being double teamed. That's also a waste of possession. Um, you know, blocks are nice to get. Um, I got five in this game. I gave me 34, uh, 3,400 points. Uh, I got well defended plays. I got that nine times uh, for 4,100 points. So that's cool. Um, but things that you need to let just come to you, if you play the game, just keep playing it. Don't do anything cheesy. Things that will come to you. 50-50 uh, plays, fast break scores, uh, highlight plays, hard hit. Sometimes you will set a screen and it, it works. You get a hard hit. But like in this game, I got one. It was worth 1500 but I got one of those. Um, so like I said, don't really go for those. Um, free throws. When it comes time to hit your free throws, put focus on those. Uh, when it's time to hit those, you try to get to 100% as much as you can. Uh, because they do count percentages on those uh, picks dodge if somebody's setting a pick on you run straight through it the worst that could happen is they still score um, but don't go under the picks just try to go straight through it it'll help you grind for your pick dodger badge um, or and it'll help the opponent set illegal screens which will give you the ball sooner um, obviously fill your takeover is good to do um, because it's gonna happen to you anyway. I wouldn't go for team takeover. I don't want control over all five players on the court. I want the ball. When you get team, when you get takeover, pull it immediately when you get on offense. Uh, don't waste it on defense because you're not going for steals anyway because you're not trying to foul out. Um, so yeah, get the get the takeover as soon as you can and pop it on offense. When you go on offense, I mean, you can still do the alley-oops, but what I do actually is just come up on the right side. You can come up on the left side as well. Um, if you step behind the hash mark with the ball in your hand, um, and it's, I believe on PlayStation, it's L1 and triangle, you're basically calling a clear out for yourself. Uh, you don't have a, you don't have the ability to call plays, uh, but hitting this L1 and triangle or whatever position you are, uh, will actually call a play, a smart play for yourself, but you're holding the ball. So basically you're like calling a clear out. Um, when you do that clear out, if they're if someone's in the corner and you're below the hash mark, they're actually clear out from the corner as well. Uh, if you do it above the hash somebody's going to go fill the strong side corner and you don't want that you want a free ride to the basket where as soon as the, your side is freed up you hit the turbo and go right past your defender and go for a dunk um, in these scenarios when you're on takeover i suggest going for flashy dunks you're probably going to make the dunk anyway um, some people will get away with cheap fouls where they just like pull you down like you you're about to go for a dunk animation and they just pull you into a layup you want to get the posterizer to uh, illuminate every time you go for these when you have takeover. Uh, so keep that in mind. Just go for the flashy dunks, go for the straight ahead dunks or the reverse dunks. Uh, but do anything you can to actually get a dunk animation. Like I said, for me, that was pulling back on the stick. I'm playing on absolute um, and go for a flashy dunk. If I miss the dunk, oh, well, I just missed the dunk. Missing the dunk, I think, is sometimes better than getting a contested layup where you're doing an acrobatic layup that you only really have on silver uh, and, and you're not filling the meter all the way anyway, so you're gonna miss. Um, it's not worth it, you know, just go for the flashy dunk. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I think I have done every, I think I've talked about everything you need to be doing to, you know, grind yourself and get to that 80K. And this one, I got to 79,800 something. I mean, it's close enough. You could do one more assist, one more block, one more anything will get you to the 80K. I'm sure you guys will find a way that, that works for you. Uh, in this game, they actually started um, two centers against me. I was going against Willie Colley Stein. I didn't think they would actually start him. Um, so yeah, that kind of sucked. But against other opponents, they don't have 
good center, like athletic centers that are going to go up against you. So like keep doing what I said uh, by ducking that one on one matchup going against the lesser opponent. Um, and yeah, you'll have a good time. Uh, these go about an hour long. This one took me, I think, like an hour 15, hour 20 minutes because I kept pausing in between talking and whatnot. Uh, but if you keep it focused, um, it'll take you about an hour skipping all the cutscenes. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, like always, you know, hit the like button and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the comments and um, on the Discord chat as well when I'm trying to get people to play. All right, peace.